Now the big story this evening, a stunning catch by intelligence agencies after they managed to have the terrorist Abu Jundal deported from Saudi Arabia. Abu Jundal, who has 10 aliases, was one of the terrorist handlers who gave telephone instructions to terrorists as they carried out the 2611 terror attacks in Mumbai. This is the most significant breakthrough for security agencies since Ajmal Kassab was captured. The face behind this chilling warning to India now arrested in a major breakthrough by Indian investigators. The big cat, Sayyid Zaibuddin Ansari, also known as Abu Jundal, the suspected Indian handler who was in Pakistan guiding the terrorists in Mumbai during the 2611 attacks. <laughs> The person who goes by pseudonym Abu Zindal has been apprehended and is in the custody of our investigative agencies. Delhi police say they have arrested Abu Jindal from the IGI airport on 22nd of June. They are probing his role not only as a handler during the 2611 attacks, but also in the Mumbai serial blast case, in several terror cases related to Bangalore, and he was allegedly also involved in a conspiracy to attack Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi. However, sources say that Jindal, who comes from Maharashtra's B district, is a member of the Lashkar e Toiba and originally an Indian Mujahideen operative who was being monitored for the past few months and had visited Saudi Arabia recently. Sources say that India managed to get him deported. The first suspicion that Jindal was an Indian came in the taped conversations between the terrorists and their handlers in Pakistan. Imran Babar, the terrorist at Nariman House, is heard talking to Abu Jindal, who kept using Hindi instead of Urdu or Punjabi words, unlike the other handlers. छोटा सा उदाहरण है या छोटा सा एक एग्जांपल है तो मत जो है तो पीठ थपथप थपथपाती है और प्रशासन जो है तो सर पर टोले मारती है This was also confirmed by Ajmal Amir Kassab the lone surviving Pakistani terrorist who told the trial court here in Mumbai that they were also taught Hindi as part of their training In fact in these conversations Abu Jundal says the next attack on India will be by Ilyas Kashmiri's brigade 313 लगातार महाराष्ट्र सरकार ने यह कहा कि कोई भी लोकल बंदा नहीं है और आज दिल्ली पुलिस ने जो पकड़ा तो वो तो गेवराई का ही निकला Delhi police sources say Abu Zindal lived in Pakistan and Bangladesh and was collecting funds in Saudi Arabia at the same time recruiting for the Lashkar Unexplained questions though Pakistan claims Abu Jindal is known as Abu Hamza too had been arrested how did he then land up in Saudi Arabia Delhi police will be matching the voice of Zabiuddin Ansari with the 2611 intercepts between the terrorists and the Pakistani handlers Meanwhile sources tell NDTV that Zabiuddin Ansari has already talked about the 2611 attack and the involvement of some Pakistani officials But the big question is will this be enough for Pakistan It has already negated the evidence that India has given it so far. With Rashmi Rajput and Tejas Mehta in Mumbai and Talima Biswas in New Delhi, Shruti Ranjan Sen for NDTV. Well, we'll get to a big discussion in just a few moments, but a programming note, an important one coming up at 9:25. This is all about the handlers of the terrorist attacks in uh, on 26/11. One of them, Abu Jundal, has been captured today. He was one of the uh, terrorist handlers. speaking to the terrorists who killed so many innocent people at Nariman house now we'll bring you excerpts uh, of what happened to Nariman house uh, the jewish learning center the kabar house on 2611 shortly thereafter uh, in uh, the actual play out of uh, of the terrorists in pakistan talking uh, to the terrorists at kabar house Uh, all of that coming up at 9:25 but let's quickly move on now to our big discussion joining us now the former home secretary gk pillay he was home secretary at the time of the 2611 attacks with us praveen swami senior associate editor of the hindu b raman former additional director of uh, raw and an expert on counter terrorism and joining us now from pakistan as well lieutenant general talat masood retired the former defense secretary of pakistan thank you all very much uh, for joining us what we are trying to look at this evening is whether 
This arrest is likely to indicate a clear link between the terrorists behind 2611 and the Pakistani establishment as it were specifically uh, the ISI. General Masood, if I can come to you first, the name of, uh, of this particular terrorist, uh, which was actually announced a few years ago by Pakistan as being one among six or seven terrorists who had been captured. A lot of people here are asking, if that was the case, how is it that Abu Jundal landed up in Saudi Arabia from where he was deported? Well, I would not be able to exactly comment on that because we will have to trace and uh, the Pakistan government, as you know, is still very silent about it. And uh, so unless the facts are known, one cannot really preempt it. But at the same time, I would say that it's quite possible that such like uh, fugitives have always sort of escaped from jails as well. Uh, and it has, uh, there are many like these. So uh, one would not know because uh, these people have strong links. Uh, even when they are in jails, they can get them out. And the fact that he was in Saudi Arabia, it also shows to what extent they have this freedom and these non-state actors, how powerful they have become. General Masood, this is the, the real worry in India that despite the overwhelming evidence, it's not just Indians saying or, or our government saying that the evidence is overwhelming. I think internationally it's understood that there was a deep Pakistani hand behind 2611. And yet people like this are allowed to escape. So will there ever be closure for us? Will there ever be justice? Or is there simply too much pressure for any progress to actually happen in this case? Well, there are two things. I think there is no doubt about it. The Pakistanis know that uh, the, these were Pakistanis who were involved, but these were non-state actors. The point is that was the state involved or not? And Pakistan so far has categorically denied it. And there is no solid evidence that truly the Pakistan uh, government, the Pakistan army or the ISI was in any way involved because there is no clear proof of that. Do you have the Indy TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndyTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.